Hello, I'm Jonathan Delbridge and in this video I want to tell you some of the key differences between a modern grand piano, such as the one over there, and this period instrument. This is a Broadwood square piano dated from 1814 and it has a completely different sound to the modern piano over here. And I'm going to mention a few things that make the instruments so different to each other. First of all, the keyboard range. So a modern grand piano has a range of 88 keys, going from a low A up to a C. This keyboard finishes on an F, so our lowest note, and a C at the top. So it's a range of one, two, three, four, five and a bit octaves, five and a half octaves. So a much smaller range. Secondly, the hammers for the dampers. Now on the grand piano over there, we have quite large felt hammers hitting the strings and again big dampers on top of the strings to stop the vibrations and end the notes. Whereas this instrument is so much more delicate and the hammers are much smaller as you can see in the pictures with very very tiny dampers because we don't need those big heavy dampers. This means that it's got a much more delicate tone and a much smaller range of dynamics and this is worth bearing in mind when playing music of this period. When we see big dynamic contrasts and we're playing music on a modern piano, we need to bear in mind that the instruments of the day wouldn't have achieved quite the same range that a modern instrument would achieve. The next thing is about the stringing of the piano. Now on a modern grand piano we have one string per note in the bass, then it changes to two in the tenor range and three for the top part of the piano. And the bass strings are big, I mean they're you can see they're wrapped around each other and they're great big thick strings making a big sound. And what that achieves on a modern piano is this long seam tone as well as quite a big dynamic when you want it. So we'll play a note, it will ring on for a very long time. Now this piano has two strings per note throughout the whole keyboard range. The strings run diagonally across the instrument. But the strings are much thinner as well, and much more delicate because we don't have the iron frame that we have on the modern piano we have to have an instrument with much less tension inside. So that means that a note will decay quicker. But it still has that lovely singing tone. It's a more delicate tone, but it will decay a little bit quicker. Next thing is the pedals. Now on the grand piano, we have our damp pedal with the right foot, sometimes called the sustain pedal. And many pianos of this instrument either didn't have a pedal or you could achieve similar effects of raising the dampers using stop levers, which are in here. This Broadwood does have a sustain pedal. Here it is. But it's operated with the left foot. And two things I think that are very different about that and how it would affect how we interpret music of this period. One is being operated by the left foot is not quite as easy to use. And when we're playing music of the classical period, it doesn't require the same amount of pedaling as more romantic music. It was used more as an effect. And I always say to pupils, if you're learning Mozart or earlier, and even a lot of Beethoven, learn it without the pedal first. But however, when we do use the pedal, it doesn't use, create quite the same resonance as on a modern grand. And actually we find we can actually sometimes use more pedal. I was playing a piece by John Field only yesterday, and I played it on the modern piano, and I was having to use a lot less pedal than Field had marked on music. But then when I played it here, I found I could do the pedaling exactly as Field intended, and it didn't sound too blurred. And then the final point is the pitch of the instrument. You probably heard when I played earlier on that the grand piano over there is tuned higher in pitch. And it's not because this piano is particularly out of tune, but it is because these pianos were never designed to be tuned to modern concert pitch. They were designed to be tuned to Baroque pitch or classical pitch, which is a little bit lower. Now, this piano is slightly under pitch because it wasn't tuned for quite a while, and we may gradually increase the pitch slightly on this instrument, but we'll never take it up to concert pitch because that will put too much strain on the woodwork in the instrument. It's also, with these instruments this period, it's not so common to tune them to equal temperament. Modern keyboard instruments are tuned to equal temperament, so all the major minor keys 
sound pretty much the same. But on this instrument, you would use a different type of temperament. There's various different options, meaning that some keys will sound more in tune than others. So there's some of the differences between a modern piano and this period instrument. And just to finish this little demonstration, I'm going to play a short piece and I'll play it on the modern piano first and then on this period instrument.